A very pleasant good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to big stone television as you know the series continues the series of those great musicians singers and players of instruments those who are still here with us and those who are gone too soon today we're going to talk about a group that was very popular in the 60s and later on turned out some of the biggest singers of our time. We're talking about the Paragons. The Paragons were a ska and rock steady vocal group from Kingston, Jamaica, initially active in the 1960s. Their most famous track was The Tide Is High, written by a band member, John Old. The Paragons did all music composition collaboratively. This issue was resolved in court when John Old claimed ownership of most of the Paragon's compositions. In a case, Tyrone Evans versus John Old, the court ruled in favor of Tyrone Evans, who claimed all compositions were done collaboratively. The Paragon started with Bob Andy, Keith Anderson, and Tyrone Evans in the early 60s at Maxill Park Children's Home. Most of the rehearsal of the group were done at 44A Walton Park Road. The group went through many iterations before coalescing around Tyrone Evans, John Old, and Howard Barrett in the late 60s. The Paragon's first recording in the early 60s were done at Studio One Coxon. In Love at Last and Good Luck and Goodbye were composed, arranged and directed by Bob Andy, with some assistance from Tyrone Evans at Studio One. The group was also managed briefly by Ratcliffe Butler and Desmond Chambers, two popular radio personality of RGR. The Paragons were originally God Tyrone Evans, songwriter Babandi, Junior Menz, and Leroy Stamp. In 1964, Stamp was replaced by singer and songwriter John Old, and Howard Barrett replaced Menz. The early Paragons used the vocal harmonies of Jamaican groups of the early 1960s. Beginning in 1964, they recorded on the Treasure Isle record label with record producer Duke Reed. Songs such as Memories by the Score, On the Beach, Only a Smile and Wear You to the Ball, which were later covered by UB40, Arasandi, Dennis Brown, Massive Attacks and others. Other recorders included My Next Door, aka Quiet Place, I've Got to Get Away in 1968 and Happy Go Lucky Girl. The Paragons recording including the widely covered The Tide Is High from 1967 written by Holt and featuring the violin of White Rum Raymond are among the highlights of the Jamaican popular music. The Tide Is High was taken to the top of the UK and US charts by Blondie in 1980 while Atomic Kitten's cover version also topped the UK singles chart in 2002. Holt left to pursue a successful solo career in 1970. Following his old departure, the group recorded briefly with female vocalist Rosalind Sweat as Rosalind Sweat and the Paragons and the Paragons featuring Rosalind Sweat. Evans too, recording as Tyron Evans and as Dan Evans, enjoyed an albeit less notable solo career, making several recordings while with the Paragons and after the group disbanded. The group reformed in the late 1970s and released further albums in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Evans died in 2000. John Old died in October 2014 and Bob Andy died in 2020. 
some of the biggest studio albums to date is On the Beach in 1967 with Rustling Sweat 1974, The Paragons 1981, Positive Movements 1982, Heaven and Earth 1996, The Paragons Sings the Beatles and Bob Dylan 1998, The Legendary Paragons 2000. Yellowman meets the Paragons 2002, the Paragons return. Ladies and gentlemen, the Paragons. What a powerful set of singers were these brothers. Notably, the legendary John Old, who became an iconic legendary singer, performing all over the world to immense fan base, to an immense following, to an immense future, to an immense contribution in bigger songs after bigger songs after bigger songs after he left the Paragons. Not to mention Bob Andy. What a voice. What a lyrical genius. Bob Andy. Most can remember Bob and Marcia who gave us some powerful songs powerful 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 songs and i will never forget these artists because these are the artists that really inspired me make me want to get up and do something as a young man telling me that hey you have a future will it be singing will it be talking will it be rapping will it be anything you can make it if you really 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 want to so today i'm honored I'm really elated to have sit here and do the research and do the work and to bring to all my fan base and I want to say thank you so much Paracons and to your family members I just want to say my heartfelt condolences to you at this time. I know it has been many years from 2000 to 2014 and in 2020. But I still want to take the time out to say that we're feeling your pain, we're feeling your loss, we're feeling the departure of such great iconic legend, the Paragons. Ladies and gentlemen, the Paragons came into our lives many years ago from the early 60s and they have given us great, 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 great recordings of which we are extremely proud. So we must lift our voice, lift our praises, lift our love, and lift our memories to say we will never, ever forget the Paragons. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The Paragons, they came, they saw, and they definitely conquered. Please like, and share this video and I want to hear your comment in the comment section below and if you have an artist of the early 60s 70s or whatever that has made the contribution and you think they need to be heard on my platform feel freely to offer your suggestions and I personally will do the research thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for watching please subscribe to my channel so that it can reach a bigger and wider audience thank you so much for watching